Hey guys, I was doing some uh, mast gear bending for the mast, and uh, <laughs> the this is the uh, the really thick wire, and I was using the mighty bender again. That works out well. And uh, one thing I wanted to point out is these are normally three feet wire, right? And what I do to do this, this is kind of fun how this works out. I mark the center point, right, to 18. And then I start making these bends. And the bend, you know, you can follow the plan. Uh, I would actually kind of look at, you know, your plywood that you're cutting out and then figure out where your holes are going to fall in with your master, uh, master air screw or your Astro gear box. So that's also going to decide or you're going to do your bends. So I made mine pretty tight because this one has pretty close holes. So I think that will work out pretty well. And uh, and this comes with the kit. If you guys decide to go with the kit, these are really nice and small. Uh, that center hole will be facilitated for the one of the, the center mast uh, wire. But uh, I think these are, what are these? These are 3 inch, about 3 inch and uh, they work out real well. So um, anyway, uh, what I wanted to point out was this, is after you make your bends, so like I said, these are three feet long from the hobby store. If you go ahead and place it, the fuselage, on your table, and you place this on your table, I want you to see something here. That right there is exactly the length you want it. So what you can do is you can go ahead and mark your hole there, uh, cut it at about, oh, I'd say just a tad above that because you're going to have that brass uh, mount there. But that's it. So it, it, it's kind of nice because I was looking at this at the length of this one. It sits on the ground. That is a little bit less than seven inches, and that's about where you want it at. Okay. So anyway, I just wanted to show you that. I'll cut this. And continue here. All right, guys. So I went ahead and placed this down here. I went ahead and uh, eyeballed that. I, I actually cut it right at the spot where it intersected the hole. And then I just made these real quick. And these are those brass tubings. That's that uh, three three eighths. And all I did is uh, I think on the plans it's two inches. I cut them about an inch and a half, and uh, I smash it up about. Oh, a little bit more than half an inch. So I smash that flat and then I drill a hole in it so it can have my 632nd bolt to go through it. So that's all that is. So that's squished there and that's going to be open there. This eventually is going to be squished down more. But right now I'm just going to leave it like that. So now that I've cut this and dropped it on the floor <laughs> and it's back, uh, I'm going to feed that into my holes and there's going to just be one thing I might have to do here. When I push it down, I'm going to come up here and figure out where this angle is here. All right. Now, since I was your old guinea pig, um, and uh, and of course this is the rule of thumb for the the three blader. Now the four blader might be different, might have more drag, but I want this to read at about four degrees. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to shorten this end just a tad. So I'm just going to just do a little bit at a time until that reads about 4 degrees. Alright guys, so I went ahead and attached this. And the reason why I attached this is it's just an easier platform for me to work with uh, to do this. And uh, I just want you to see that what the difference of just a, like a half an inch will make. Right now I am, uh, well, I would say negative... Five. If I just barely lean it back, now I'm at zero. That's flat. If I rotate it back a little bit more, that's at four. So that right there, if you drew a line straight down, would intersect the uh, lifting point of the wing, and that's about where you want it at. Um, so I don't really have to do a lot of bent, more bending with this here. I'll just rotate this back and uh, keep it at that point there. And that's that's pretty good. I'm happy with that. I might rock this back a little bit further so I don't get way too far back. But uh, I think that's a good point right there. You want to be right on top of this back seat here, the center point of this. 
and that's about right. All right. All right, guys. Uh, I went ahead and bolted this on uh, because I, I wanted to figure out where I was going to put this at. And actually, I ended up putting it up a little bit further up, not in full center, because I used these two screws, and they actually go right through where the uh, laning gear straps are. So. Anyway, so it's a little bit more forward than I probably prefer, but that's okay. Because of that, I'm going to rotate it back just a tad and uh, to get my angle. Now, what I'm going to do is when I get my four degrees here, I'm going to tighten this down really tight, and I'm going to leave that there. I'm going to form this wire up to it, so this is going to stay solid. I'm going to do that. Now, uh, I wanted to point out here that I went ahead and squished this down. I've bent this at an angle a little bit so it doesn't scuff this. So I bend that out. And then eventually I round this. But this whew, is super hot. <laughs> uh, you've got to get that solder hot and let it bleed through there. And uh, when I when we first did this setup here, I, I tested it out and I uh, bolted it on a piece of wood. And I, I actually hung my own body weight from it. So <laughs> it can hold me it's going to be able to hold the blade. So uh, it's pretty rock solid. All right. All right, we're back. Uh, I just realized I had this backwards. I had this on the front end, and uh, yeah, I didn't want to do that. So I got this situated now. Uh, I went ahead and uh, bolted things on here. I did this a little different. I put a plate on there, and then uh, these four bolts underneath here go straight to into the master air screw. So that's held in tight. Uh, I think that's going to be an advantage and a disadvantage. The advantage is less hardware. The disadvantage is if I need to lift this up, uh, I need to add washers there. Now, this is the thing though, is this will adjust. And when this adjusts back, the, the angle of attack changes too. So I might, what I might want to do is, see right now I'm only at, I think at zero degrees here. So I need to somehow get this thing to scoop back and I'm not that far if I just put it right there I'm at about three and a half so what I think I might do is either get a longer wire here or I will do that also but bend this a little bit back further this underneath here I think after I do that I think I'll be set to go but the most important thing is is that this lines up to the back of this uh, you don't want this too far back because then everything's gonna ride wrong so you want this kind of lined up with your uh, your lift on your wing so um, so there you go guys I uh, hope this helps a little bit and uh, if you have any questions just uh, send me an email and uh, I'll try to help you out thanks all right well that took a little longer than I wanted uh, I was playing around with some different bends here and uh, also uh, this plate's not going to work because uh, it's aluminum and it's bending, so I need to get a steel strap on there. But uh, not a big deal, uh, so I'll replace that. But uh, what you want here, guys, is you want this about midpoint where it's at 5 degrees. Because what will allow that to do is when I push it forward, I'm at 4, I get 5, if I back it up, I get about 6. So just by shifting this forward and back I can get these different angles so that's about what I want um, so I got plenty of room still up in the front there not sure you can see it poking in and out but uh, but anyway so that's the idea behind this so like I said should change the angle there and uh, I was just playing around with it with my angle meter so you can see it Okay, so that's that's about three there. That's four. Back it up. That's five. And that's about six. All right. So just that little change is, is shifting that back and forth. All right. So that gives you an idea how that works. Um, so that's about it. I think I'm happy with the way it is now. So I am uh, going to clean up this mess. Ah. <laughs> so, all right, guys. Thanks.